Are you familiar with a pie graph or a pie chart? Below is an example of a pie chart about the student's favorite types of movies. A pie chart is a special chart that uses pie slices to show relative sizes of data. The data are presented in a circular form where the circle is divided into sectors or segments. Each sector or segment is labeled with the names of the categories. For this particular chart, it is categorized as the different types of movies such as comedy, science fiction, action, and drama, which can also be expressed in the form of a legend. A specific value is written for each category. Pie charts are best used to compare parts of a whole. It means each category can be expressed as a fraction, percentage, and even angle, or the measurement in degrees. One whole circle makes up 100% and 360 degrees. Let's create a pie graph or a pie chart based on this information about the student's favorite summer activities such as hiking, fishing, surfing, and camping. Suppose five students liked hiking, three students for fishing, two for surfing, and ten students preferred camping. How do we create a pie chart for this? First of all, organize the data in a table. Then count the total number of students. The data shows a total of 20 students. Then add another column to show each category in a fraction form that later we can use to find the percentage and the degrees. There's no need to simplify the fraction in its simplest form. For hiking, keep it as 5 over 20, 3 over 20 for fishing, 2 over 20 for surfing, and 10 over 20 for camping. Adding all these fractions, we get 20 over 20 or one whole. This time, let's add another column for the percentage. To take the percentage, we only need to multiply the fraction of each category by 100. Let's start with hiking, with a fraction of 5 over 20 times 100. We can do cross cancellation by dividing 100 by 20, where we get 5. Now we have 5 times 5, where we get a product of 25 or 25%. Do the same with the next. For fishing, we got 3 over 20. We don't need to do much. Just change the numerator to 3, then multiply by 5, where we get 15 or 15%. 15 do the same for surfing. Just change the numerator to 2, then multiply by 5, and we get 10 or 10%. 10 for camping, change the numerator to 10, then multiply by 5, we get 50 or 50%. 50 Adding all this, we get a total of 100%. Let's add another column for the size of the angle measured in degrees. To know the degrees, we take the fraction and multiply it by 360 degrees. For hiking, we have 5 over 20 times 360. We can make the numbers much smaller by crossing the zeros out. What remains is just 36 to be divided by 2, where we get 18. Then multiply 5 by 18 we get a product of 90 or 90 degrees. Do the same with the next. For fishing, we have a fraction of 3 over 20, or simply change 5 to 3. Then multiply 3 by 18, where we get 54 or 54 degrees. We don't have to do much for surfing. Just change the numerator to 2, then multiply by 18, we get a product of 36 or 36 degrees. Lastly, for camping, just change the numerator to 10. Then multiply by 18, we get a product of 180 or 180 degrees. Altogether, we have a total of 360 degrees. Now, we are ready to draw. 
Start by drawing a circle. You may need a compass, but if you don't have one, you can always just do estimation. Find the center of your circle. From the given data, it appears that camping makes up 50% of the circle, which covers 180 degrees. Then let's find the central angle for hiking. Take your protractor and place the midpoint in the center of the circle. Locate 0 degrees, then move up to 90. Mark a dot and remove your protractor. Then draw a line to the center. Indicate the angle size, which is 90 degrees, and label this sector as hiking, which comprises 25% of the whole circle. Continue with a central angle for fishing that makes 54 degrees. Again, take your protractor. This time, we will create a sector on the left. Locate 0 degrees, then move up to 50, and an additional 4 degrees, then mark with a dot. Remove your protractor and draw a line to the center. This angle is 54 degrees angle and makes up the portion for fishing, which is 15% of the circle. Therefore, the remaining sector is 36 degrees, which is the portion for surfing that makes up 10%. And there you have it. Creating a pie chart is quite easy, don't you think? Here is a pie chart about the way a group of students comes to school. Study the chart and answer the guide questions. Letter A. What percentage of the students go to school by bus? Letter B. How many students go to school on foot? Letter C. How many students are in this surveyed group? And letter D. What fraction of the students go to school by metro? You can always pause this video and take as much time as you need. If you're ready, let's go ahead and check your answers. For the first question, we need to find the percentage of the student who go to school by bus, which is pretty easy. All we have to do is add the percentage of all the other ways the students go to school. 7 add to 13 plus 40 plus 10 Altogether, we have a total of 70%. So if one whole circle makes up 100%, therefore, 30% of the students go to school by bus. Next, how many students go to school on foot? With this question, you can choose to work hard or work smart. Let's do the easiest way. We can use the information we acquired earlier. 30% of the students who go to school by bus is 60. So look at the relationship between the percentage to the number of students from 30 to 60. The number in percentage is just multiplied by 2. It means if 7% of them go on foot, that would be 14 students. We might as well write the number of students for all the other categories. 13% of them go to school by bicycle, which makes 26 students. By car, 40%, which is equal to 80 students. And 10% by metro, that makes 20 students. So how many students are in this surveyed group? Let's add 14 plus 26 plus 80 plus 20 and 60. We get a total of 200 students. So for our last question, what fraction of the students go to school by metro? That would be 20 out of 200 or 1 over 10. So tell me, were you able to answer most questions correctly? I'm sure you did great. If you found videos like this useful, a like would be appreciated. Feel free to browse other interesting lessons on this channel. PDF copies are available on our Facebook page. This would be all for now. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun learning.